energy prices will be going up from the 1st of April 2021. So to save a little bit extra cash, here's what you should know and what you should do. I'm Kozan from Financial Banders, helping you be better with your money. Martin Lewis from The Money Saving Expert has been urging households to compare their gas and electricity prices immediately following an announcement that we can see energy bills increase from about £100 per year. Now this £100 increase is based on averages so it really depends on your property and your usage so it can be a little bit less or even a little bit more but it is suggested that for most households there will be an increase of about 100 to even up to £200 to their bills. Now this all stems from an announcement made by Ofgem. Now Ofgem, for those that don't know, is the Office of Gas and Electricity Market. They are a non-political part of the government department who are in charge of ensuring that our energy is greener and fairly priced. Now they set something called an energy price cap which limits the maximum price that these energy providers can charge you per kilowatt for gas and electricity. Ofgem have recently announced that they will be raising the price cap for standard and default tariffs, which is what more than half of UK households are currently on. This of course has direct implications on your energy bills, which is determined by the price of energy against how much you use it. So assuming your usage stays the same, an increase in prices will see an increase in your energy bills. With the average household expecting to see an increase of £96 per year in their energy bills from the 1st of April. Ofgem update these caps twice every year, one being on the 1st of April and the other being on the 1st of October. It's important to note that this is the first time in two years that Ofgem are increasing the price cap. So because the price cap will be increasing, it is very likely that the energy suppliers will be increasing their tariffs from the 1st of April. So what can you do? If you are someone on a standard energy tariff, it might well be worth for you to start searching for deals so you can fix it in a price for the remaining year before the new price increases. There are great comparison tools for you to do this. Money Saving Expert have a great one. I know I mentioned Money Saving Expert quite a few times in this video. I should note that they are in no way sponsoring this video. I'm just using them as an example because A, they are a really good service and B, because they are the ones that had heavily reported in this price cap increase. So I'll put a link in the description box down below for their comparison tool, but there are of course other ones available on the market and I'll list a few of those in the description box down below as well. One thing worth knowing is that these comparison sites including the one from Money Saving Expert, are likely to be underestimating how much money you can be saving if you do a switch. And that is because they're currently showing you how much you can save based on this current price cap. They are not showing you what it will look like from the new price cap because firms have yet to release what their new tariff cards will be. So don't be discouraged if you see a small saving rate, it's expected to be a lot more once companies start revealing what their new energy tariffs will be, but this is unlikely to happen until very close or even on the 1st of April 2021. So overall, I would encourage you all to start searching for deals for your energy provider and get them switched to the cheapest deal before the 1st of April 2021. And this is something that I would actually encourage you all to do quite frequently as well, irrespective of a price increase or not. I do this with my home insurance renewals, my car insurance renewals, even my phone contract renewal. I always make sure I look for other deals to make sure that I'm always getting the best price. And usually, particularly for car insurance, you can always find a better deal if you jump ship. And the same can be true for energy prices as well. So what I'm trying to say is that even though this is a very good example as to why we should be searching for energy deals, we shouldn't have to wait for a news break of the price cap increasing for us to do so. We should be searching for new deals anywhere way on a regular basis because yes I know it sounds like a bit of hassle but it's really not that much switching energy companies is relatively pain free these days and you can save a fair bit of money if you do so cool so that is it for this week's episode I breezed through that so let me know in the comment section down below if you have any questions and as always if you like what you saw today please do smash that like button that does wonders for the YouTube algorithm and the growth of my channel and as always I release a video every single Monday so if you want to keep up to date with those hit the subscribe button as well See you later.